muffins and thank you for joining me back at my channel um today is just a quick beauty supply haul um i haven't been to the beauty supply store in a very very long time um as you see that most of the videos i've been posting about products that i've had have been kind of like between high end and like middle end but i love going to the beauty supply store i always find new things that i've really never seen before so um I picked up a couple of things from there and I picked up a lot of stuff from Ruby Kisses. A lot of products I didn't know that Ruby Kisses offered. So I found some palettes from Ruby Kisses. It was four palettes. The other palette I didn't want to get because it had like bright bold colors like yellows and pinks and greens and stuff like that. And I have a lot of those colors already into my collection and I don't really wear bright bold colors like that a lot. But I really like that these two like these three kits here they're really really pretty they're um little and i can just pop them in my bag um they're affordable they were only 5.99 and you know you can't go wrong with little palettes like this i like the um the packaging of it because it is like a tin metal and the design is really really nice like they did a really good job on the design of the palettes so i picked up three of them i guess they were on their version of like a couple of the naked palettes not like the urban decay naked palettes and i'm sorry guys y'all know i live next to a highway and no matter what room i go in i'm gonna hear the traffic so i'm gonna try to speak up a little bit louder and i hope that the um distraction doesn't bother you so this one is the better naked palette and it says long wear hd color eyeshadow palette and it's infused with moroccan mineral clay and african red tea okay so um i was just looking to see if they named the colors on the back no they didn't so let me just show you what the palette looks like it is really really pretty look at the pretty design of them really really nice Ooh. so it comes with a pretty good mirror and oh they did name them oh that is so nice this is a really really nice palette look at those colors it's nice neutral colors and i am really really into neutral colors i'm a neutral girl i love it this is really really nice like that this is a really nice palette so it comes with six colors um you get three mattes and three shimmers which is good so the first color is bare i think i'm gonna hold it this way so i don't blind you muffins the first color is bare i just really want to see how pigmented colors are nice color that's like a really nice creamy white color that's nice for a highlight color and they're pretty smooth they're really not that chalky but also remember muffins swatches on your hands are totally different from swatches on your eyes and the way that color blends out you would definitely need a base for these colors just to make them pop a little bit but that's a really really nice that's good quality and there's not a lot of fallout so the next color here was called birthday suit how cute and it looks like a really nice pretty pink champagne color and it's a satin finish wow these colors are really really soft so let me just swatch that right there that's really pretty it's a nice satin color it's really pretty that'll look really nice in the inner tear duct and they're really really smooth i'm really impressed with this the next one is called strip and it's a gorgeous satin gold color Ooh how pigmented that one is that is really pretty also i'm just gonna be like that's so pretty <laughs> wow that is nice i like that like i said i'm a pretty neutral girl so this palette is right up my alley the next one here is stark naked okay i guess the colors are like naked <laughs> so this is a like a medium tone brown color this is a really great color for a um, transition. That one's a little bit powdery, just a little bit. But that's a really pretty transition color right there. And the next one is a really pretty copper. It looks like a mix between copper and gold. And wow, I like the little gold flecks in it. Like it has gold shimmer in it. Oh, that is really pretty. But it's not chunky um, glitter, so which is really, really nice. And the last beautiful color is called Unclad. And it's just a rich, dark brown. This palette is really nice. You have your 
Oh, that's a pretty color. Look how pigmented that is. It's a really deep chocolate brown color. I like this palette. I like this palette because it has your dark color, it has your transition color, it has your inner tear duct color, highlight color, and it also has a pretty, pretty lit color that you can use. So this palette is really nice. Really, really nice. They did a good job with this palette, and I like the name of the palette, Get Naked. It's kind of cute. I think they're kind of playing off a lot of the naked palettes that are out now. So that's really pretty muffins. Okay, so let's go into the next palette. Let me wipe these colors off. Okay, so the next palette is called Dark and Sexy. Look at that palette. I love the color of that palette. These are really, really nice. And once again, these are $5.99. Ooh, ooh. A lot of nice purple colors, purple and plum colors. So once again, you get um, three shimmer colors and three matte colors. Very pretty. And I like the fact that they named the colors. So this one is Come Hither. Very sexy. Hmm? Very pretty. And again, that's like a, that's a shimmery, it's a, that's a really shimmery color. Um, a shimmery white color, that's really pretty. The next one is called Suggestive, and it's a pretty light pink color. Reminds me of like a bubblegum color. And that one is pretty too. I think that most of the light colors are really not that pigmented, but you can work with it if you use a base or a primer. But that's really, really pretty. My colors that I always love is purples and pinks and stuff like that. So the next color is called Tantalizing. Okay. <laughs> And it's a pretty lilac purple. Pretty. This is really a nice one too. Provocative. I have this color and it, I think it reminds me of one of Urban Decay colors. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And one of their palettes. I'm going to have to look it up. That is really pretty. And like I said, if you put a primer or a base on them, the colors will really, really be really, really pretty on you. That's a nice palette. Okay, and the last two colors um, is Risqué, a nice um, shimmery color. Um, it kind of reminds me, it's not like copper or anything. It's a nice rich brown color. It actually, it's the same color as my skin, kind of, but it has flecks of gold in it. I just like the fact that they're not chunky gold colors, like chunky glitter in it. And um, the rich dark color here, brown color which was in the last palette. Look how rich that color is. I think I would really like to use that color to fill in my eyebrows. But that's a really, really pretty color. So this color is called Dark and Sexy. See how pretty that is? I really like that palette. Okay, so let me wipe these four. Okay, and the last palette that I picked up is called Big and Beautiful. Also a really pretty gorgeous design. Pretty. And this this palette is all satin colors. There are no um, matte colors in it, but I'm fine with that. Really pretty. Ooh. So this one is elegant. Gorgeous. That's pretty. That's a really pretty champagne color. It has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. Like a egg champagne color, actually. That's really pretty. Do you see how pigment that is? And did you just see how good it blends out? So that's really nice. The next color is called Dazzling. Really pretty light gold color. It doesn't have that much of a yellow undertone to it. It's a true um, gold shimmer color. That's pretty. I think this palette would really look good on dark skinned women. It's really pretty. And I am a sucker for orange colors. This is a really color. It's called Exquisite. I'm really glad that I found this palette. And I got the... <laughs> I'll tell you what I think it done. But that's the color there. Exquisite. And you have another deep... Um, like a copper orange tone color and it's called Divine. 
pretty. The next color is called, I'm sorry, Enticing. I love the names of these colors. That's pretty too. Really, really pretty. And the last color is called Stunning. Now this one is the same color as my skin, so it might not show up too well. But this palette is really, really pretty too. Now this has, remember, this has no satin colors in it. But if you see these palettes in your beauty supply store, I would pick them up because it's really, really cute. You can throw them in the bag. The colors are pretty good as far as pigmentation. Um, I'm going to keep stating again that the swatches that I put on my hand is going to be totally different than what you put on your eye. But I think if you use a primer... And if you use a primer and a base, you would really get good um, color payoff with these palettes. Okay, so let's move on to... I was just playing with those palettes. They're really nice. I just like was just patting some of the colors on my eyes. Very pigmented. Really, really nice. They're really smooth. I would definitely tell you that if you see those palettes inside your beauty supply store, pick them up. You really are going to love them. Okay, so the next products that I got was some lip products. I'm going to do lip swatches. That's why I had to go off the lipstick I was wearing before. Now, I just they had a whole bunch of colors, but I didn't want to pick up all the colors, but I picked up four of them, and these are the Ruby Kisses um, stick lipsticks. So I got four of them, and these were $2.99. And let me go into the first one. Sorry, I was just taking the cover off of them. Okay, so this one is called Black Honey. I like the package, and the packaging is really, really nice. Really elegant. Like, I don't know whether this is all of one collection that they have with the palettes and the lipsticks, of the lip um, stick things here. I don't know if there's a collection, but if it is, it really fits perfectly together. So let, oh, go, go ahead and kiss. Ruby Kisses, you just surprised me. Look how pretty that color is. I like the way that they put the product inside of this little tube. It's gorgeous. So let me do a hand swatch first and then we will do a swatch on my lips. And you do get a lot of product for $2.99. Really pretty. So let me just swatch it on my hand first to show you the color. That's a really, this is a really pretty fall color. Ooh. Ooh, muffins. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And they didn't say that the colors was matte, so it's not going to dry matte, though. It has like a peppermint scent to it, too. Ooh. See how pigmented it is? Really pretty. I think I'm going to go back and probably pick up some more colors. That's pretty. That really is pretty. Oh, muffins. That is, that is gorgeous. That is really pretty. And it's not, um, it's not like skipping. It doesn't feel cakey or anything. It feels really smooth. If you can stand the peppermint smell of it, you'll be alright. The smell doesn't bother me. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful fall color. Okay, so let's go into the next color. Okay, so this one is so pretty. It's a light, um, it reminds me of like a light tangerine color. It has a little bit more of a um, red undertone to it also, but it's really, really light. Um, it's not overpowering, and it feels really good on the lips. So this is the swatch of it. And this is the lips, lipstick. <laughs> this is really pretty muffins. I'm trying to get the camera to focus, but this is really, really pretty. And again, um, this is called Maybe Baby. Cute thing. Wow, muffins. I really, really do love this color. This is so pretty. They're so easy to put on. So this is what it, the color looks like. And this color is called Not Just a Pretty. I kind of feel a little bit comfortable without a lip liner with it. But I would wear a lip liner with it. 
just so it doesn't look so stark around the edges of my mouth so this color is so pretty look at that muffins this one this is a really pretty color I'm really kind of shocked that the colors are really really pigmented they're really easy to put on and they don't skip on the lips like they're not patchy or anything this is a gorgeous color really really gorgeous oh my god I'm so in love with this color so this color is called juicy lip service okay <laughs> but look at the pigmentation look how gorgeous this color is like oh my god and they're only $2.99 I'm going to go back to the beauty supply store and pick up some more colors look oh my god they're so smooth going on muffins and this is the color and this one is juicy lip service okay look at that I'm really happy with the lip products and the palettes that I picked up I'm really happy with them I'm glad I went to get them but look how gorgeous that color is and this is the swatch I like that pink color so much I put it on um, I'm wearing max um, lip liner in magenta and then I'm use I'm wearing the Ruby Kisses color in not just pretty so you can see you can really make this color work for you for our chocolate girls like by sales okay so let's get to the next item that I picked up now I got these um no more blemish liquid foundation and they're oil free You're supposed to wear them all day now these were $4.99 I wasn't quite sure on what colors to get so I got a darker one and then I got I got the darkest one and then I got the step up above so I really got these to mix with other foundations I wouldn't really wear these colors on their own because number one they're too dark for me and I do have a couple of um, foundations that are really um, too light so I'm figuring if I mix a little bit of this in there it'll probably work out right so this is a semi matte foundation and I'm trying to look for the color this is okay this one is ebony and this one is, I don't know why they put the tags over the names. Uh, this one is um, Cognito. So let me see what this one looks like. This is the darkest one that they have. I don't know if I should shake it before I put it on. Wow. Wow. That is dark. That is really dark. Wow. Wow. Okay. But it blends out really nicely though. That's a dark color, but look how pretty that blends out. Like, it blends out really, really pretty muffins. I think this would be perfect if you wanted to mix this in with another foundation that you have. Now, this color here would probably really look really, really nice on my daughter. She is a NW50 or 55 in MAC. So, I'm really glad that, um, it came out with a dark colors now this isn't the only dark range that they had they had maybe six colors that will fit our skin tones from like a um, tan on down to caramel this one is like a really deep chocolate color so this one I don't know if I'm seeing the name of this one right I don't know why they put the tags on them like that but um, I'll look it up and tell you what the color is so this is the next one I only picked up two of them that's pretty that's a pretty color wow that is really nice look at that that is really pretty and they smooth out so well oh my goodness that color will really look nice on me look how that blend that blend out I probably would go up one more shade lighter but really glad that they came with darker colors Ruby Kisses did a nice job on that so really nice look like it's kind of it's full coverage too look at that so those are really pretty two nice ones I think I'll go back to the store and get the shade up lighter from the last one that I showed you just so I can work with it with different type of foundations but that's really nice so and then I just picked up a um, eye primer just I go through a lot of eye primers and I picked up some LA Girl, um, what do you call these, concealer things. So I always pick them up. Anytime I go to the beauty supply store, I pick them up. I have tons of these already, but I like to keep them in my collection. So 
what kind of confused me this is the one that I bought from the beauty supply store and this is the one that I have already this looks a little bit more of an orange orangey than this one so I don't want to open it because normally when you open them that's when they start you know I usually have to use them but um, I have one already that I've already used and I'm just gonna do a swatch of it so you can see what the color is and I have a video I'll link it below um, of all of the colors of the LA girl um, concealers and I did swatches of all of them just to give you a reference of what the colors look like and you know what you can go into your beauty supply and pick up so I did pick up toast and this is toast this is the one I just bought I didn't want to open it so I have toast already I'm gonna do a swatch of that one also now with these um, they usually collect oil so I usually I shake them up usually before I would apply them on my face shake it up and then put it on your hand and then apply it to your face it'll be much easier so that's toast now I like to use toast as a highlight or I usually mix it with another color but that's really pretty everyone knows about LA girl um, pro concealers they're amazing so I picked up dark chocolate well I already had dark chocolate so I'm just going to show you that I picked this up like last week or so so I couldn't find one darker than this and I actually found it now at this beauty supply store that I went to so I'm going to show you what because I want to show you the deepest I think this is the one that I'm going to show you is the deepest so this one is called dark chocolate so you can see how deep that color is that's really pretty and I would use that also as a highlight if I'm looking for something natural now I'm gonna open up this one and I'm gonna actually go back to the store and get it if I can see that it'll match my daughter's skin tone and I should have opened this before I wasn't planning on open this but let me open this and I'll be right back okay muffin so this one is mahogany look how dark mahogany is now I would use this personally for myself as a contour like a cream contour so you can see the difference between dark chocolate and mahogany this color here my daughter would definitely be able to use this to contour with you muffins know how chocolate my daughter is I really am glad that they came out with a darker color and I, when they first came out they came out with darker colors but um, it wasn't this deep so they're really adding a lot of colors to their collection and this was $2.99 in my beauty supply store so you can see the different ranges of colors that I picked up Okay, so the last item that I picked up, I always go to beauty supply stores and if I see like um, perfumes and stuff there, I'll pick them up. I like to keep them because I fold them in my bag. I don't have to carry my expensive perfume around with me in my pocketbook. So usually if I'm working, when I'm working, I like to keep these perfumes in my bag. They're kind of big though, but I still keep them in my bag. Or I'll give them to my 14-year-old daughter. There's no reason why she should be walking around wearing $50, $60, $50 to $60 or $100 of perfume on now. Okay? So I like to pick up a lot of them. I do. I have a lot of imitation perfumes and I love to get them from the beauty supply store. And they last a while. Like I've had a couple of them on and people have complimented me on what I have on. And when I tell them it's a beauty supply store perfume, they're like, yeah, it is. And to prove that they do smell kind of similar to the original one, my f favorite perfume in the whole wide world is White Diamond white diamond will be forever in my collection and i go through bottles of white diamond because i love it that much and i'm always spraying it so i think desi got me this perfume like a month ago and you can see how much i use it um white diamond just smells amazing so i already know what it smells like the notes of it is like really sweet and spicy and i really do like that so i have one that's called gold diamond i love the packaging the box is pretty cute and this is the imitation of the white diamond so i wish you muffins could smell it but i already know what it smells like so i'll know if it's come if it comes close to it so this is what the bottle looks like and this is what the white diamond bottle looks like so I'm going to spray gold diamond on this arm. Wow. Oh my God, that smells amazing. That smells really, really good. I'm gonna spray 
white diamond on this arm here. Oh my God. That, it smells the same. The only thing is that the white diamond has more of that floral type of smell to it. This one has it, but it's not as strong as white diamond, but they're pretty similar as far as smell. That smells really, really good. Okay. So, you know, um, it's good. I always pick a beauty supply store um, perfumes. I'm not embarrassed about it. And if someone ever asks me what I'm wearing, I will let them know. Um, I have high-end perfumes and I have my beauty supply store perfumes, which I am perfectly comfortable with. So the next one I picked up was Night Code. And this is supposed to be their version of Armani Cold. So let's see. I've never, I never smelt that perfume before, so I'm not even gonna really tell you muffins if, um, if it's come close to it. But I love the packaging of it. It's pretty cute. Here it, it's pretty. Let's see this top. Am I putting this top on right? I don't think I am. Okay, there we go. So that's what it looks like. And let me spray. I know you gotta keep spraying it in different spots. So I'm gonna just spray my shirt. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's a fresh, clean smell. I like fresh, clean smells. So I'm not going to spray all of them. I'm just going to show you what I got because then, you know, I won't be able to tell the difference between them all if I spray them all. So then I got um, their version of Romance by Ralph Lauren. And I really do like the beautiful packaging. That's pretty cute. And it's really feminine. I would really sit this on my vanity I have like um, a whole bunch of perfumes on my dresser and this will look nice on my dresser tray really pretty really feminine I like that that's cute and these were three for ten he sold them he sells them three for ten dollars so good price and this one is bravery for men I love to wear men's cologne I think men's cologne smells better than women's cologne some of them nine times out of ten i believe they do i like to wear men's cologne they just have much more of that strong spicy smell that i like so look at the packaging of that isn't that cute i want to spray this one because i haven't smelled it yeah oh my god oh i just want i want to lay up underneath somebody with this smell <laughs> with this smell I love men's cologne. I really, really do. That's pretty. So I'm going to keep the men's cologne one and I'll give my 14 year old the rest of them. So this one is Happy Weekend. And this is their version of. Okay, I don't know why my camera cut off. So this is um, Secret Plus Happy Weekend for Women. And this is their version of Weekend Woman by Blueberry. This smells really good. I just sprayed it. This reminds me of my mother. Like my mother. Um, I don't know. My mother wore, I'm trying to think of the perfume she wore growing up. I'm going to ask my mother. It smells just like her. This perfume really reminds me of my mother. And I love the design of the bottle. Really, really nice. So the last one I picked up is called Chaos. And this is for men. And this is their version of Curve. Pretty box. And if you have daughters who are always in your perfumes, Getting these are really, really good because they'll grab them and spray them too. And you won't, you're not worried about them spraying them all in one week. Isn't this bottle cute? Really, really cute. I'm going to keep this one. Um, oh my God, I'm just spraying everything. My room is going to, let's see. That's a nice, fresh smell. This reminds me of Desi. Oh my God, that does. Uh-oh. <laughs> So this is the last bottle that I picked up. And these are three for $10. Like beauty supply stores, you always find goodies in there. Um, I'm never embarrassed to buy anything out of the beauty supply store, whether it is perfumes, um, low-end makeup or whatever. I like to try new things in the beauty supply store. It's a really great place to where you can find out new items, affordable items. And I like to shop in my local area at my beauty supply stores. You're just putting more money back into your community. The guy was really, really nice. Um, he gave me like a free um, lotion, I guess, because of the money that I spent. And it wasn't a lot though. And then he gave me his business card really nice and this is a corner store um beauty supply store he actually gave me a business card and actually the picture here is 
looks are like where I live at. Really, really nice. He was a really nice um, young black man, gentleman. Well, he wasn't young, but you know what I'm saying. A nice black man. And support your local um, stores that, that you live around. It'll keep them open and um, you go in there enough and they're really grateful he was really really grateful for business even another young lady that was in there behind me buying hair stuff and he really was like thank you for shopping here and that that, that makes me feel good because they appreciate our business in our own community so i thank you muffins for um joining me at this video i will see you in the next one muffins bye hey muffins i went back to the beauty supply store and picked up the rest of the colors that they had for the ruby kisses I just wanted them all because I really do like them a lot. But first, let me show you um, that I did go back and pick up two more of the um, No More Blemish foundations. So I picked up Caramel and Honey Brown. So in the colors I picked up before, let's see. I just want to make sure I didn't pick up the same thing. Okay, so the other colors I showed you before um, was Ebony and Cognigo, I think. So let me just show you really quick of what Carmel looks like. And again, these um, foundations are full coverage. They blend easily. And my purpose for getting them is to mix them with other foundations that I do have. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty color. That has a little bit more of a um, yellow undertone to it. So that one is Caramel. And then the other one I picked up was Honey Brown. Let's see what that looks like. And these were $4.99. I think that these will last you a pretty long time because you don't need a lot of this to, um, to um, do your face with it. So this is Honey Brown. You can see that one. Really pretty. I, I'm really surprised because I haven't... Um, like I stated before, I haven't went to the beauty supply store to buy any products, but I'm glad I did luck up on this. I went back to the store. The guy was like, I was like, I like them. So that's why I came back. So um, I picked up one, two, three, four, five more colors of the lip, um, the lipstick colors. So this one is Hello Pretty. I'm going to come up because I'm going to do a lip swatch. So this is what the color looks like. And let me do a swatch of it really quick. I know this video is going to be long. I'm really sorry that I ended the video and then came back. So this is what, um, what color is this? I'm sorry. Hello Pretty looks like. And this is a really pretty pink color. Let's do a lip swatch really quick. And it's kind of sloppy. I'm sorry. I'm kind of rushing. I know the video is going to be really long. My lips are dry, but they don't settle in my in the lines of my lips. Like this really is pretty. When I went back outside, a lady complimented me on the other color that I had. So that one is called Hello Pretty. This one is called Lavender Silk. Really pretty um, lavender color. I would wear a lip liner with this. It's really pretty though. I would not at all feel uncomfortable wearing this bright color it's really really pretty and i think this color looks nice i mean y'all know i have um chocolate skin so this is what it looks like it's really pretty and they do stain your lips a little bit so the darker colors do so the next one i have is called it's raining men i'm gonna do a swatch really quick it's pretty Ooh. See how nice and smooth they go on the lips? This is really pretty. I don't think I don't like, I think I like all of them. Like, it's easy to apply too. It's really pretty. So that's It's Raining Men. Ooh, look how pretty this one is. This one is called Brown Honey. Mm, this is gorgeous and I really don't think you need a lip liner with these colors like really really don't they're not that pasty type of um, colors you know you have some colors that really don't look 
you know, too appealing on us right out the tube. But these colors, I have no problem wearing them without a lip liner at all. As you can see, they stain your lips though. So usually after each one, I'm just blotting my mouth off. And it has a little bit of um, face powder on it. So they do stain just a little bit. And the last color I have is, wait, I did Hello Pretty already. The, I did, oh, that was it? Rainman. Let's see. Hello Pretty. Brown Honey. I did that one. It's Rainy Men. I did that one. Lavender Silk. And, oh, this one I didn't do yet. This is called Some Gorgeous. I like the names of these. They're really, really pretty. Really a nice color, again, for our chocolate skin. Look how pigmented that is. You see that? That's really pigmented. They did a really fantastic job with these. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I love all of them. I love all of them. I love all of them. So these are all of the colors. I like the packaging. They all snap close so you don't have to worry about the caps coming off of them. They're really, really secure. So thank you for joining me back <laughs> at my video. I'm sorry that I went back in to um, do lip swatches again, but I had to run back to the beauty supply store and get some more. So these are the Ruby Kisses foundations that I got. So I really am happy, even with the palettes that they have, I'm happy with that too. So I'm sorry, this is the end of the video for real this time. I'll talk to you muffins later. Bye guys.